Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's been a while, been a little too long if you ask me, but let's just get right into the video. As you can see, we're in a completely different game than Minecraft, and this game is called Satisfactory, and the whole purpose of this game, if you've never heard of it or you never played it before, is to build factories to produce parts to build more factories, to produce more parts, to make even more parts. You're just building factories upon factories upon factories, which are satisfying to look at and satisfying to build and everything. Hence the name Satisfactory. And for today's episode, or today's video, we're just going to jump right into it. This is a game I've played for, I've been on it for a couple of years now. And this is my second world, and for today I'm just going to show you guys everything I've built in the second world, and we're going to pick up right where I left off, and I'm going to turn it into a series. So everything you see is everything I've done, and everything I'm going to do in the future, I'm going to make a video about it. But yeah, let's just get right into it. This right here was where I first settled down. I put this, um, the hub I think it's called which is like your first like little milestone thing as you can see there's a bunch of tiers and I already unlocked them all which I won't go into the technicalities of it I'll do that in another video explaining everything this is like the crafting bench there's a lot of things in this game things to explore and find out so that's always exciting over here this is like my first actual like kind of factory I built as you can see I kind of just like threw everything together this is called no clipping which is a big no-no in this game but we're not going to be doing that anymore what these these are iron plates these are like the most basic iron supplies there's a whole bunch of materials iron being the first one you unlock like screws rods right there and I'll show you. So you produce screws and rods and stuff and then you make other parts with them like I have the rotors right here which take, I forgot, yeah screws and rods. And then you take the rotors and then you make smart plating and then you make take smart plating and put it into something else. So it's like just a big long factory game. But yeah, there's nothing really special over here. This is my first, I guess you could say, like, organized factory. It's kind of just what we were doing before, but instead we're making a little more advanced parts, like uh, modular frames, which are just iron cubes. There's a couple variants of modular frames in the game, which we'll see another variant later, and then there's one more I still haven't unlocked. And when we come down here this is my like steel factory and to make steel if you're wondering it's just iron ore and coal you make steel ingots that way and you make steel pipes steel beams all that jazz and yeah and versatile framework and other cool little gadgets and all this is like my most basic and simplest factories i have a lot cooler ones in farther in the game but before we get over there, I'm going to show you guys what we got going on over here. If you might be able to guess, this is my coal power plant, or my biggest coal power plant in the game, I should say. These are all coal generators. I mean, as you can see, it takes coal and water. You burn the coal, boil the water, spin a turbine, and yeah, I have them all overclocked. Yeah, so this is just a basic coal power plant. I don't even know how many plants I have here. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It looks like I have fourteen, something a lot, something like that. And down here, this is a. I think I'm making black powder, which is used for like weaponry. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I have over here. Everything I have here, I have built over there too. As you can see, I have belts going everywhere, and. You could also see I have these tubes, which they're called hyper tubes, and it just, they just, you build them, you can get around the map really fast. Some people like to make launchers, as you can see. I tried to make one over here, but it didn't really work out, and I kind of just stopped trying to figure it out. But yeah, as you can see, I have signs saying to where each tube leads to. But for simplicity, we'll start with basic iron, which is what you start with when you unlock the game. 
So we'll just head on over here, enjoy the ride, see the world as it is. As you can see, I've built a lot of things in this world and I'm still not even close to the end. We got a long journey ahead of us. As we're pulling up to Basic Iron, you can see I have a big billboard up there. And yeah. Also, you'll probably notice that a lot of the belts aren't moving, and that's just because I'm full on everything, which I'll explain later. But yeah, this is my basic iron factory. If any of you are like pre or like also play Satisfactory, you'll probably realize that I really built this inefficiently. Because the whole point of this game is to build is to build efficient factories to get the most use out of each factory and that is not what I did here. I did. I don't know what I was thinking, but I just made each smelter go into each constructor when I should have made it all pull into one belt and split off where when it was needed through overflow and whatnot. But I think it's cool to look at, as you can see, everything moving. When we come over here, like over here, I'm making all the rods. These are what the iron rods look like. Up here, I have more rods. I believe I'm turning them to screws. Yeah, this fact, this iron factory has a couple layout layers to it. Yeah, you can see I'm making all the screws up here. Screws are something that's pretty important in the game. So you'll notice that I have a big storage bin of just screws. And all the way up here I'm making iron sheets. But hey, it's not the most efficient factory in the world, but it does what it needs to do. This is just a beginning basic material or basic supply factory and yeah, enjoy. These are how all the ore is coming in. And yeah, just admire the way it all looks. Like that. Yeah. And over here is where I have the screws being funneled out, and I believe these are making the reinforced uh, iron plates, which are just screws and iron plates. And everything pulls into my storage room later, which we'll get into in a bit. This is all I got for my basic iron production so far. I mean, nothing really fancy. Oh, I have a rotary going on down here. I didn't even know about that. No, I'm making smart plating, that's what it was. I just have a couple manufacturers, bringing them all into here, which I completely forgot that I built. It doesn't even go into my storage room. But yeah, that's it for the basic iron production. Um, we'll head back to the main base, and then we'll go down our copper hyper tube now to bring us to the copper factory. So I'll meet you when I'm over there. And for my copper production, it goes right down this hyper tube. You can see I have all the other ones over here. We'll just hop right into it. As we arrive, you guys can just see everything that we have in this world. That's one of my favorite parts about the hypertubes, and just you can just travel through everything and see everything moving, which will be even more sat satisfying to watch later when we do my next big project. But yeah, no, copper is also the next like most basic item in the game. I also did this like the inefficient way like I did with iron, but I believe this is the only other time I built a factory like that where I have one smelter going straight into its own um, constructors. And I forgot to mention, the constructors are just what don't make uh, singular items from pretty much the, uh, from the ores and whatever material you, raw material you pick up from the ground. What you make with copper, you make a wire and cables, which are important for uh, power lines, since power is probably the other most important part of the game. You're gonna need a lot of copper and wires to branch your power lines out. And if we go up here, yeah, you can just see, I just have a lot of constructors making a uh, wire and cables, just so I never end up running out of it. And yeah, if we move on over here, we also have iron sheets being produced, not iron sheets, copper sheets being produced, which are also important. Their iron sheets are used for the main thing off the top of my head is the uh, 
paper tubes. So you're going to need a lot of those if you're going to be making long or, a, or building a long or a lot of paper tubes, which I have going into its own storage bin, which is why it's not overflowed yet. And to be honest, I don't know, I don't have an exact reason why I decided to do that. I just did. And you know, as I said, there isn't a whole lot with my copper production. It's just these three little sections, the sheets, wire, and cables. With that being said, let's move on to the next thing you unlock in the game, which is more advanced steel production, which I have right up here. It's kind of mixed in with more advanced things, but it shouldn't be too bad. These are the other modular frames I was talking about. These are heavy modular frames. We'll just go to the back of this factory, right over here where I have all the ores coming in. So this is my long, smelting or constructing factor. Oh no, these are fern foundries. So I have a huge line of foundries. Honestly, I probably built too many since all these probably suck up all the material and then it just leaves the rest at the end like pretty scarce of them. But it works for what I needed to. It's fast enough for what I needed to do and anything I build in the future I'm gonna build it as efficiently as I can. You might ask, these are all just storage bins for overflow. So when the things are full, I have at least like some buffer of ores and materials. So when we start moving everything, it could start producing right away as well. But yeah, this is just the line of foundries. As you can see, some of them are on. And these are the lines that the ores are being brought in on and split into them. And once they're all produced, they go into the line of conveyor belts all merging together and then being branched off wherever it's needed like let's see what's being produced over here like steel beams it, like right now uh, I'm short on steel beams so that's what it's doing it's just all being funneled through the factory going to where it needs to go and yeah and that's pretty much that you can see these are all just steel beams or uh, copper not copper steel pipes like these are steel pipes over here that's pretty much it for my um, steel production I mean steel is used for other things which we'll get into in just a minute but I just want to show you over here this is one of my many concrete factories as well concrete is also probably one of the most important materials in the game as well since that's what you use to build these foundations and for and you also just need concrete for a bunch of other things as well. So here I have concrete being funneled into manufacturers over there producing encased steel beam. Um, I think they're called encased steel beams. We'll check that in a minute. Any other satisfactory players will notice that this is incredibly inefficient. I don't know what I was thinking when I was building this. As you can see, the top two layers are completely full. All the bottom layers are like barely have any concrete on them and I bet you and they're, it's short on concrete. A good way to be doing this is to funnel it all into one line so all the constructors can produce concrete and it'll just make our encased steel beam production go a lot faster. Encased industrial beam. That's what it's called and all you need is steel beams and concrete to produce that. This is important to make those in case those uh heavy modular frames and then one of the I believe the mark 4 conveyor belts require it yeah so it's important that you have a lot of it and yeah as we move on over here I just have all the materials pooling into the manufacturers bringing what's needed the concrete steel pipes the beams and the modular frames to reduce the encased not the encased, the heavy modular frames, which I have an overflow on, which I'm not complaining. We're going to eventually burn through all of it anyway. Over here, this is just some more advanced production that we have going on. I mean, over here, what am I making? Computers. Yeah, so computers, you take circuit boards, quick wire, and rubber. And quick wire is the only thing that, like, I don't have a specific factory for. I just built a couple constructors to produce it. But hey, I produce a lot of it, and it fits my needs. All it, all it does is take keterium from the ground and construct it into the wire. And yeah, so these are just all producing computers. And I have them all funneling into my storage room. And then 
believe I missed something over here. Oh, we got autosave coming on in 10 seconds. Six, five. Here, I'll show you a cool autosave trick. The game autosaves a lot of the time, and so the game freezes, and, you get, and if you have a jetpack, and you like keep pressing space the right way, you can really launch yourself. But over here, these are just AI limiters, which I don't really know what they're used for. I've used them like once or twice to like make different little things, but I don't know specifically what they're used for, but I'm sure we'll see that in the future. And you know, they just take copper and quick wire, pretty basic stuff. So we'll move on from here. That's pretty much everything in this section. Head back to our main base. You might be asking, what is this? But well, we'll get that, I'm saving that for last because that's what we're going to end off on. All those belts you see. But yeah, we'll just get a quick overview of everything. All this, all these belts being convoluted together. People like to call it spaghetti. Or like belt spaghetti. Which is the perfect name for it, not going to lie. Yeah, as you can see it's all pretty unorganized and chaotic. But... I like to call it organized chaos. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one who came up with that, but it is what it is. I believe I missed like the motors and straighter uh, stators, which are also just like another form of iron, but I don't really know where they're being produced. All right, so I have my, uh, it's not where they're being produced. I have automated wiring being produced here, which takes stators. Oh, yeah, it's behind my iron production. I completely forgot. So we'll just head over there. I'll show you guys what that's all about. And then we'll go back to the main base and continue with the tour. All right, and this is where my iron production is. As you can see, I have all the smelters right there that I showed earlier. And right behind here, I found a blueprint online to make modular frames. In a compact way so I was like you know what Let's throw down three of these bad boys so that's what I did and yeah, I believe these produce 10 a minute so my goal was to with three I'd make 30 a minute but that's all limited on how much ore you actually bring into it but yeah other than that that's nothing really special going on and behind here is where I have my state ore and rotor uh, construction or factory. So for rotors, you just take iron rods and screws and a con assembler. I always confuse it. Assembler, constructor, manufacturer. Oh. And yeah, so I have a couple over here producing the rotors. And over here, I have them producing stators, which take rotors. No, I'm not producing stators, I'm producing motors here which takes stators and rotors, hence why I had the huge overflow of materials just so. I always have a lot on backup, just in case. I mean, it's kind of pointless doing this, but it's something I like to do. So we have all our motors being constructed here, and now down here is where I'm making all the, sh the stators. Which are also like kind of an, uh, another like small iron thing, I believe. So we look at it up. So for stators, you need pipes and wires. It's been a long time since I've built all this stuff, so I kind of forget like what's needed for what. Pipes and wires to produce stators, and then stators are used to produce motors. And if you still, I mean, if you made it this far in the video, you guys can probably tell that this is a pretty interesting game in the sense of just how much. How complex and in-depth everything is and honestly I'm not even close to the end I mean you might have seen other youtubers play this game where they're building like nuclear power plants and like drones flying around and stuff aluminum and I just never got to that part in the game yet which I hope to eventually other than that that's all the main factory bits and pieces I mean I still have another another couple sections like my oil production which is another big part of the game. And yeah, other than that, we'll find the nearest hypertube, I believe is over here. Yep, 
and then I'll, I'll meet you back at the main base. Now that we're at, back at the main base, I'm going to show you the quartz production real quick. I mean, this is a small part of my world. I mean, it's only right over here. I just built the hyper tube, so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Yeah, we're already pulling up right here. So this is... Oh, I forgot to show you guys. So, like, all the ore pretty much looks like this. And there's pure, normal, or uh, impure. And that, and what that does is just depends on how much um, you could get per minute. Like I have Mark II conveyor belt, or not Mark II, I have Mark II miners here, producing quartz, sucking it all out, which reaches peak efficiency for the belts, because the belts only can transport 240 a minute, at least the belts here. But the other belts can produce more, which, like the Mark IVs that I have, and Mark Vs that I haven't unlocked yet. But yeah, this is that's what the raw quartz looks like. We have crystal quartz, quartz crystal being produced here. And down here, we also have some silica powder, I think. Or it's just silica. Silica being produced from raw quartz as well. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, this is not a large section of the world at all. It's just a couple constructors. Producing all the stuff. That's pretty much just the corpse production. And you know what? While we're here, I might as well show you guys where a lot of my iron comes from. As you can see, the belts over here, which I probably should go through an upgrade. I don't know why I haven't noticed that before or realized it. Well, I'm also never in this part of the map either, so yeah. These are all a lot of the. Uh, iron nodes that I have, They're all, a lot of them are pure, so a lot of these nodes are just pure and have them being produced before they used to go to the main base, but now I rerouted them so they go to where my regular iron production is. And we also have some copper going on up here. Oh yeah, and if you see these around, these are just batteries or power storages. I like to call them batteries, and they just store power in case your like, power grid can't handle it or it runs out. Like. These, this will cover power for hour long. You consume it, and yeah, over here, this is my. This is what the copper ores look like. Same deal. Everything looks pretty similar. Similar. Yeah, I have another one up there. Let's follow these belts. Go on to the main base. I, I don't know why I keep saying main base, even though it's just where I settled down. But yeah, getting close. Getting to it. I just gotta show you guys the oil and fuel production and my storage room, which I'm saving for last. If we come down this tube, we'll go for the ride. This will bring us to where I'm producing all the oil, fuel, and all the byproducts that you need from that. So we'll just enjoy the ride. It's a, it's a decent distance from where I have everything else. As you can see, I have trucks going on over here, transporting the stuff. But yeah, we'll start off right where you get out. So right here, this is where I found the first oil node in the games. They're impure as you can see. And what you do, you take the oil extractor, as you can see crude oil. And then you bring it into refineries, and that's where you could craft whatever you need from it. Like, I have fuel going on here. You can make plastic, rubber, petroleum coke, and then all other alternate recipes if you need it. But we'll keep it on fuel. Yep. And for fuel, you could either store it in these huge storage buffers, where you could package it into... Or you could package it up and put it in regular storage bins, which I do have, which I'll show you in a bit. Yeah, these are all the small fluid buffers. And over here, when you produce plastic with the most basic recipe, a byproduct is heavy oil residue, which is like a thick purple substance. 
which we do have a use for down here if we just follow the pipe. And you may have seen a lot of clipping in the game and I apologize for that. I'm not going to be doing no clipping anymore. I also have some more plastic being constructed over here. This is like where I get a lot of my plastic from to begin with. And I just have all the heavy oil residue being brought down over here. Oh, and also, if you notice, like, the map looks a little weird, like, things floating and stuff. Not here, but, like, probably just in general. That's probably just because the map has... The game has been updated a couple times, and there's been, like, slight map modifications, which kind of alter the way things look, landscape-wise. But, yeah, other than that, if you take that black powder and the heavy oil residue, you can make smokeless powder, which is another key ingredient for, like, weaponry and making nobilisks, which are... This thing, if you just throw on it, did not mean to do that, but you get the point, they're pretty much just bombs, and there's a couple different type of nobilisks, and that's a, we're gonna make a factory just to ca just dedicate a weaponry later in the series, but yeah, as we come back up here, this is what the packaged fuel looks like, in case you were wondering, yep. And then I have the plastic being made into the empty canisters, which you fill with the stuff. Yeah, this is, I have another oil node right there. And I try to, I try to color coat by pipe so I know like what's in each pipe. But yeah, other than that, let's move on to where I have the real production going on. As you can see, over here, this is where another oil node. You can see trucks going on over here. This is where I actually have made my first truck route. It's not the best route by any means, but I wanted to explore it. Oh, yep, there they are. These things suck. These are like probably the most annoying thing in the game. Yeah, those like ball things. If you're near them, like a bunch of little bugs fly out and they just like attack you. They're called, it's called the hatch. And we got another thing over here. Oh man. So if you guys don't know, there's also a lot of like and a lot of like mobs in this game. This guy, this guy's nice though. But let me deal with this goofball over here. I think these are called the splitter. Let me just deal with him real quick. There we go. And I'm out of ammo. Didn't even realize I'm out of ammo, but I'll get some more later, that's not important. Alright, with that out of the way. This over here is my main like oil production and oil stuff, fuel, everything dedicate anything that has to do with that. Let me just try to orient myself. Yeah, so over here I'm producing a lot of the plastic. Yeah, so over here I'm producing a lot of plastic. These last two I'm producing fuel, which branches off over there. And fuel makes a byproduct called polymer resin which you could use to make rubber. Over here I have all the fuel that I'm producing over here being packaged up, as you can see. And I just have a massive storage bin of just fuel. I probably have like close to like a million things. Each one being full and then that huge stack being full. Along with buffers over here which I have made for uh, heavy oil residue. If we just follow, let me just show you guys this real quick. And if we just follow this, I just have a huge like storage area for the heavy oil residue. It's not full yet. As you can see, it's pretty big, but it's not nearly as big as my uh, like general fuel storage, which we'll get into at the end of the oil production. But yeah, over here, this is all just store units for fuel. over here oh yeah I'm making packaged heavy oil residue which is also which goes into this huge storage unit over here which is pretty much full I believe yeah and then that's being taken over somewhere oh yeah I believe that just goes back to my main storage room and this is my huge or like my biggest like storage facility for fuel completely full as you could see and I have sinks over here which I won't get into actually yeah you just like sink things down into coupons and you can use coupons to like buy different cosmetic things 
Which, I'm gonna save that for another video, which I have an idea of what I'm gonna do with that. And if we move on to the other part of my fuel factory, you can see that I have, I think this is rubber. Yeah, so this is where I make all my rubber, which takes that polymer resin and just water. And you get water by just putting an extractor in the water, like right over there. Yeah, I just have a couple refineries making a, well, uh, I did not mean to do that. A couple of refineries just making rubber, nothing too fancy. And you can see this is the start of my oil pipeline, or not oil, my fuel pipeline. Yep, and then over here is where I'm also making a lot of my, uh, I, just, I think just straight up fuel, I think. Yeah, so over here I'm just making a lot of just straight up fuel and a lot of refineries. for a second. Yeah, I have a lot of refineries here just making fuel, which I have going into a pipeline network. Like that. And yeah, that and this huge storage buffer is just for the polymer resin as you can see. It's nowhere near full, but I have a blueprint for that and I just place them down just to make sure that I don't ever actually like run out of the stuff and that I can have a huge backup for when I need a lot of it. As we're getting close to the end, I'm just going to go into this other hyper tube. This is the most recent thing I built, which I did the other day. And yeah, and all this does is just fo follow the dual pipeline that I have. And you might be asking, why do I have four? Well, each one is maxed out because they could transport, I believe, 600. Like, cubic meters of fuel in a second or a minute but yeah as you can see we have them all coming in and it all just goes down the huge pipeline let's see and the tube just follows it I mean I think it's pretty satisfying I can't wait till I build even more longer pipelines that would be even cooler but yeah all this leads to is you could even start to see a, a huge storage area I have, which is actually full, surprisingly. Yeah, but it's just a huge storage area for fuel. And you could probably guess that I have a fuel power plant right next to it. And yeah, it all just goes into here, and you can see that they're all like full. And this is a huge portion of it as you can see it's like I don't even know how much fuel I had here I just was building and building I was like let's put throw another layer and another layer and another layer which turned out to how I have it now and I pretty much just spammed it all here I mean as you can see I got a lot of fuel <laughs> I'm surprised it's actually all full I mean I didn't even realize that I would like AFK or just like do nonsense in this game because I didn't I built this a while ago, but I wanted to say like enough for it to be full, but who knows, I have no idea anymore. But yeah, as you can see, this thing is just completely massive. And I have even more over here. And I really, I, re I should probably find out how much fuel I'm actually even storing here, like that, that's actually like insane. I didn't realize I, would, I built this much. But yeah. That's all I pretty much have here. We got another one of these goofballs. Let me deal with him real quick. Oh. And I'm out of ammo. Completely forgot. <laughs> Anyways, that's not important. Um, but yeah, all this fuel just comes over here. And this is where I have my huge fuel. I wouldn't even say huge. I mean, it could be a lot bigger. I'm probably going to build a, a lot bigger one in the future. But yeah, it's just a fuel generator. This is but the best uh, power plant method I've unlocked so far. I know we have nuclear power in the game, but I haven't gotten there yet. And that'll be fun to figure out once I finally get to it. But yeah, it's all reasons taking what, 12 a minute? Yeah, cubic meter fuel. And 
that. This is that's just where all my fuel comes from from that huge storage facility I have. I don't even know why I'm storing so much fuel. I think I got a little crazy with that. But yeah. That's all there is on this portion of the map that has to do with my fuel and oil refinery stuff. And as you can see, that's where all my other things are. Or like the all the factories that I've showed you already. So it's like it's not too far, but it's also pretty close. They collect these macadamia nuts. And yeah, if you, I forgot to mention, if you, you've probably seen this huge tower thing. Over there, that's called the space elevator, and that's you can see them on the top right, objective complete phase three. And all that does is send launch out all that space, come back, and then you unlock even more stuff. Which is, if you remember at the beginning of the episode, um, the hub, I didn't have the last two tiers unlocked. And to unlock it, I need to complete the phase, the third phase of the space elevator. But yeah, over here, this is just, I'm going to show you guys this real quick. This is a blueprint I found online for a storage, uh, not storage, a uh, fuel generator. Or coal power plant, I should say. I believe it's a thousand megawatts each, but I don't know if it, I don't really know if it works at peak efficiency and stuff. I just connected everything up and just like let it run. <laughs> I don't, I didn't like check to make sure it's all working properly. But hey, I'm I'm good on power for now. Probably until I, all of my factories start running again, since most of them are pretty much AFK. But yeah, other than that. I just got two more things to show you, which is my storage room and whatever this huge belt highway I like to call it is. But yeah, this is my main storage room. It didn't always look like this, like it used to be open in the middle, but I'm planning on completely moving bases to another part of the map, which is kind of far. Hence why I have this huge belt highway I built. And that's where we're going to pick up next episode. But yeah, this is like anything I've built or have a factory for, I have it funneled into here and all my storage units are pretty much full, as you can see. And yeah, I'll just show you guys everything, like these are where I have my computers, I have my fuel and residue going on here. Flat, I did not mean to do that. Motors, rotors, stators, rotors, frames, all that stuff. I mean, you guys get the idea. All the black powder stuff. And then under here, oh, if I could even find an opening to get underneath it, I have a like a real small Nobelisk factory, which are the, the bombs that I showed you. Yeah, Nobelisks. And I also have all my ammo. I pretty much just made a makeshift weaponry factory down here. Just so I could have some basic production for now. Automate it so I have to like, keep crafting it manually. And yeah, we'll just take a stack of that. And it runs pretty slow, but I just built it just so it, I have something running in the background. Not necessarily so it runs fast. Because I'm going to make another factory in the future dedicated to making all that stuff pretty fast and yeah like crystal oscillators and all that stuff but yeah that is pretty much everything let me just show you guys or I'm just get into it so yeah for the next episode I've built this huge uh, belt highway I like to call it to transport every single material that I have being produced over here to a train station and you can see I tried to make this as clean as possible. In total it's 30 belts. It's, I believe it's a, it's 6x5. So yeah, we just follow the belt highway. This thing is actually nuts. But yeah. This is going to be really cool once I have it all connected together. And so we see everything actually moving. Just look at that. This took a while to build. I mean, this was not fun. I believe it took me like 15,000 of the encased like um, industrial beams. I think it came out pretty cool. I mean, if my computer even can handle it once I have all the materials on it, but 
We live and learn. All this just leads from my storage room to a train station over here, which I have two train lines, 15 each, 15 cars each, because 30 would have been way too long. And I have them split evenly into a single line, and then it all just funnels down into each station, as you can see. Like each one just funneled down into its own cargo storage and where they will be loaded up onto the train and then shipped over to where I'm setting up the new base. And you know, while I'm here, we might as well take the line. Or er, the train just left again. Can I make it? Oh, all right. Yeah, so we'll follow the train line. Hopefully I don't fall off it. Let's try to get up to the front. Thought I was gonna lose it right there. Get up to the front, get in the train, and take the train ride over to where I have my new base being built. I don't know if any of you guys are returning subscribers. I mean, I have been so inconsistent with YouTube that I'm not even going to promise or say that I'm going to upload consistently anymore. I mean, I live my own life. I'm a college student, you know. Life is just life. I'm not going to get into it, but I'm back. For now, I mean, and I know I've always wanted to do YouTube, and I don't know why I don't like make videos. So, if I, and I play these games like in my free time for fun and whatnot. So, I just keep telling myself, I mean, if I'm playing these games, I might as well like make get content out of it. You know, I mean, you guys probably don't even care for any of that, but that's just how it is. And yeah, so I mean, I'm really into this game satisfactory. I mean, I want to fully complete it and have these cool factories. So, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do from now. I'm going to be making these factory, these factory videos. I'm going I'm to play other games as well, not just satisfactory. Like, I'm going to continue Minecraft once my two-week phase kicks in. <laughs> I don't know. I played Minecraft for about three years straight. And then I just got tired of it last year and I haven't really played it since my last video. Kind of just moved, not, I wouldn't say moved on because I'm going to come back to it, but just took a long break from it. But if that's what you want, I'm going to be coming back to it soon, don't you worry. But as you can see, we're starting to pull up on the next train station. You can see it below, we just got this to go through. I mean, I really half-assed how I built this um, train line. As you can see, it's pretty inefficient with the way the lines are and the rails are, but it's my first train line. I'm gonna build a lot better ones in the future. And, yeah. and over here is just where everything gets unloaded. And I already built like the outline for it, the conveyor lines for it, but We'll get into that. But yeah, everything will get unloaded, brought into these storage units, and then this is where I'm going to continue off in the next episode or video. And it's all going to be filled, and this is going to be my new main storage room. Four industrial storage containers each for each material. I built a lot more than I need to future proof it. So, whatever we built in the future, I can just throw it in here. I organized it, made it more like user-friendly I guess you could say and I built some other things over here this is the shop I was talking about for those coupons I already have 30 but we'll do that another day and I have the I'll put something in the wall here for wherever we're gonna want to build a tube for other than that I haven't really done else done anything else in the world I mean I kind of future proofed it I found a bunch of ores over here or ore nodes that I just placed miners on just so um, when I need them I can just power them, up, power them up and then get what I need from it and other world expl exploration stuff like as you can see I have like beacons over here for like iron nodes, copper, caterium and water, normal iron and stuff like that but yeah other than that or the next video I'm gonna be connecting up all the conveyor belts and finishing off this um, storage unit or not storage unit the train station so everything is all lined up and connected and then we're gonna finally move all the materials that I have over here and I also built a hypertube line 
going just through the wilderness. And oh, I always forget which one is which. We'll just go through this one and see where it brings us. Because one brings to the train station and the other one brings us straight to where my old storage room is. But we'll see where this brings us. I'll let you guys enjoy the scenery. We'll wrap it up as soon as we get back. And I took the wrong one, brought me right back to the train station. That's no, that isn't a problem though, because I have another one right here going back to the storage room. All right. Now that we're here where we started off, I really hope you guys enjoy this episode and you enjoy my world. I know it's quirky in its ways, a lot of like pointless things, a lot of it, bottlenecks and inefficiency spots, but other than that, I enjoy this game and I'm looking forward to what we're going to be doing in the future. I got a lot of plans, you know, we got the final update coming up soon. Uh, if you guys don't know about this game, it's in, it's still like early release, so it's buggy and stuff like that. And, yeah, and then the company Coffee Stain Studio, they're going to be dropping the final update, update 1.0, uh, pretty soon. And I believe that'll be the last update of the game, but there's still a lot we could do in the game, a lot of plans for what to do here i'll stop yapping i hope you guys enjoy this enjoyed this episode and enjoyed the world and you know if you did leave a like comment comment what you want to see from here from here or from me and you know subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon bye bye